Uh, my name is Dan Davis. I'm a scientist at the University of Manchester. Officially, I'm a professor of immunology. Also, I'm an author because I wrote a book recently, The Compatibility Gene. I thought that physics was the most fundamental thing to do because it's about laws that govern how the whole universe works. So what could be more fundamental than that? So I initially studied physics. My PhD was in physics. And then at around the, that sort of age, I started to get interested in life, thinking, well, OK, physics is the most fundamental thing at the level of laws that govern how the universe works, but maybe it's true that there's, an, uh, there's a different level, a different kind of fundamental science in, in how life works. And also, perhaps, at this point in humanity's existence, we could, we could understand the biology is more where the frontier is, and maybe I could contribute more to understand that. So I switched to discovering, trying to discover something about how life works. There's lots of things from different people that I take from all different kind of areas of culture and life that inspired me to end up where I am. So I think initially it was probably TV programs and reading science fiction, reading comic books that got you to think about what if things were like this, thinking about, thinking about uh, where humanity should go and, and what we should do and that probably was what I wanted to be a scientist in the beginning when I was very young, like from the age of five, six, seven. Uh, you know, even things like Star Wars, right, influence you in thinking about how we could be and, and, and how humanity should be, what's the best thing that we could be doing and knowledge seems like something that I want to contribute to, right? Peter Medwar was uh, an immunologist who wrote about 18 books, I think, and his writing is, uh, Richard Dawkins, for example, said he's the greatest uh, science writer that has ever lived, uh, and his writing uh, inspires me. His exceptional contribution was that he discovered a fundamental thing about how the immune system worked, uh, and that was in effect that the immune system learns all the parts of what are you at a very young age and then it can then fight things that are not part of you uh, later in life and he sort of did an experiment uh, to show that. So that was obviously the thing that gives him his Nobel Prize and makes him kind of known today. But outside that he also was a great uh, public figure in the sense that he did the Reef lectures, he did many public lectures, he wrote 18 books as I said. So you don't need to be followed things that might otherwise be quite distracting, like re reaching certain titles or gaining certain places on particular committees. All of that is kind of a distraction. And so my advice will be focus, stay true to the dream of what it is that you really want to do, which might be trying to discover something new. It might be writing a book, it might be something else, it might be making a film, it might be doing something on TV, all of those things. But stay true to that particular dream. Maybe don't get too distracted with some of the other things that tend to clutter up people's lives. I think that at the end of the day, the people that really contribute a lot to science, at the end of the day, they have the same passion and dreams that I have and that a lot of undergraduates would have too, which is that you really just do want to discover something new and, and contribute something uh, that benefits mankind either, either as a fundamental piece of knowledge or as something practical like a, a new medicine.